YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to install an Apex flat facing trigger onto your SIG P320. Uh, I don't necessarily think it matters what sub model, if it's the full size, the compact, or the carry, maybe even subcompact. Um, so you're going to start by safety checking your firearm. This is clear. Uh, then you're going to shoot the takedown lever, you're going to push the takedown lever all the way uh, until it's rotated all the way. Then you're going to release the slide while you hold the upper portion of it so it doesn't shoot off. Then you're going to remove the takedown lever and then you're going to lift up or push up on the trigger and out and your trigger group should remove fairly easily. Uh, just some things I would recommend you have are a pair of needle nose pliers and um, a paper towel just because there is going to be kind of a mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to get in uh, and take out this spring. Uh, one of the tricks is to push it forward. Let's see if I can do it right here. Push it forward and it should just pop out. Um, be very careful not to bend this because this is a pain in the butt to put back in. Uh, then you're going to pull on the um, this little rod right here, this little follower. That's going to come off. And then the stock trigger is going to come off. Now we can go to the apex trigger. Take that out of the case, put the old trigger in there so you can store it and not lose it. So then you're going to want to seat the trigger into this little hole right here. You want to push, push that into place, make sure everything... Oh, as that falls out, as that falls out, it does get pretty slippery. Um, let's see if I can get this without having to pause the video. Alrighty, that looks like it's in there. It's in. So now that it's in, you can push it, and it does work. This is the part where I would recommend the needle nose pliers. So what I do is I take this, put this part of the spring in first, then take my needle nose pliers and grab right above the flat part. Let me see if I can reposition that. Oh, sometimes it will give you a little bit of resistance. Alrighty, maybe get on top of it like this, take it down, oh, almost, and we're in. There we go. Now you can check the weapon here before you put it in the gun, and it does work. So to put it back in the gun, you're going to start at kind of an angle and go down. And with this, you're going to want to push the trigger back a little bit so it can fit through. And then that's installed so far. You're going to take your takedown lever, and it is notched. And there is a notch in here. You're going to try to shimmy that in there as best you can. Make sure it's pushed all the way back. All right, takedown lever is in and all the way in the position it was in when we took the slide off. Take the slide, rack it back. Once you um, rack it back, make sure to put this slide lock up. Flick your takedown lever forward, follow this. And then you can check the weapon.
and it does work. Um, something I like about this trigger, just, I don't know, to me it just seems more natural in the hand. And you also get rid of an annoying piece, in my opinion. Um, right here, there is metal in front of the trigger that when you pull it, it would um, kind of dig into your finger if you, if you held up on the trigger um, far enough. With this one, I don't know if you can see depending on the light, let's see if I can get some light. There is no piece. So you can get up on the trigger and pull and there not be that metal digging into your um, finger. So once again, this is the Apex flat faced action enhanced trigger for the SIG P320. Thanks for watching guys. GoPro, stop recording.